this is a podcast all about bears. You either cheering for this team or just pulling your hair. Pulling your hair. I like to take a minute and just sit right back and tell you how I became the number one Bears fan. That boy is Benny Hunt. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. People, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. Of my Talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Before I get this episode started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms, and make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. Before I get this episode started, let me tell you about LinkedIn. These days, everyone knows that it can be really, really hard to find and hire the right candidate for your very small business or any business in general. That's exactly why LinkedIn Jobs made it easier to find people that you want to talk to faster and for free. And Bears fans, I wouldn't lie to you. If I was a boss, I would definitely go to LinkedIn Jobs because I would be able to find the right candidate that would fit my needs of my business. LinkedIn Jobs can help you find the right candidate. And Bears fans, did you know that every week nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn? You know what? I can actually use LinkedIn Jobs right now to actually get some help for this podcast. And I know that I would be able to find the right candidate with LinkedIn Jobs. All you have to do is post your job for free at linkedin.com slash Wendy. That's linkedin.com slash Wendy to post your job for free. So Bears fans, now that we have lost to the Green Bay Packers on Sunday Night Football, our season is pretty much done. So now I can actually start talking about the future of the Chicago Bears, right? And the first video I want to do today on the podcast is start talking about Matt Nagy replacements. And... I know Matt Nagy is not yet fired and he's still currently the Chicago Bears head coach. Don't ask me why. I still I still don't have an answer for for why Matt Nagy is still coaching the Chicago Bears. Even though Matt Nagy is not yet fired and is still currently the Chicago Bears head coach, that loss to the Packers on Sunday night was basically the nail in the coffin for Matt Nagy. And I believe at the end of the year, Matt Nagy will be fired and will no longer be the Chicago Bears head coach. So I'm going to get a little head start. I know there's been a lot of Bears podcasters out there already listing candidates for the next Chicago Bears head coach. But I was trying to be patient and because you never know. Maybe Matt Nagy went on a run and maybe he got to keep his job. But that's definitely not the case anymore. And I believe Matt Nagy will be fired. So let's talk about head coaching candidates that will not only fit the Chicago Bears, but will fit Justin Fields and what we need them to do in order to to get Justin Fields to that next star level that we all think that he can be. So what I'm going to do on the podcast today is give you guys six head coaching candidates that I think would be a perfect fit uh, for the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields. And obviously, these are just my my opinion, right? Obviously, you guys can always comment down below in the comment section and let me know who you guys think the next Chicago Bears head coach should be. But these are just my six guys. And obviously, just because I say it, doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. It's just my opinion. So don't don't get on my life too much when when I list uh, a couple of these guys. So let's start with head coaching candidate number one. And this has been a guy for me since the beginning that I've liked, uh, not only for the Chicago Bears, but for Justin Fields and hopefully his success. And the first coach is Greg Roman, the Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator. I feel like he is one of my top candidates. And I know uh, the Ravens offense has kind of been sp- uh, sputtering a little bit. They've been kind of inconsistent. But for the most part, I feel like it's actually the opposite. I feel like they've been pretty consistent. Obviously, Roman was tasked to get Lamar Jackson to the level he is at now. Obviously, last season, Lamar Jackson won NFL MVP, got him to that level. And they're a consistent threat on offense. Obviously, it's different personnel personnel over there in Baltimore. They have a couple of more weapons in the Chicago Bears. But if the Bears can attack this offseason, bring in more talent um, to the to the already stacked, to me, talent that we have in Jakeen Grant, Tariq Cohen coming back, right? Darnell Mooney, David Montgomery, Cole Komet. I think Greg Roman would be able to transform this Chicago Bears offense and get Justin Fields to the next level. Coach number two for me. And you guys may not like this one, but I like the idea of going to college and getting a college head coach. But the only college head coach I'd be willing to be the next Chicago Bears head coach is Ryan Day, Ohio State Buckeyes head coach. I'm not sure what we would have to do to snatch him from Ohio State, 
But I think you already know what I'm going to say. He was able to get Justin Fields to a top end level in college. Obviously, it's college. They went 20 and two um, while while Justin Fields was at Ohio State. And you can see the growth and how he was able to develop Justin Fields in college. Obviously, when Justin Fields was at Ohio State, he racked up 5,300 yards, which was 10th most in Ohio State history. 63 touchdowns, which was second most in Ohio State history. And he completed 68.4% of his passes along the way, which was second most in Ohio State history. So if we're going to go to college, I think Ryan Day would be the best bet. Because at the end of the day, it's all about Justin Fields here. It's all about making sure he becomes the franchise quarterback for the Chicago Bears. So if you're talking about making him comfortable, I think Ryan Day would be the perfect choice for the Chicago Bears head coach. Head coaching candidate number three is Nathaniel Hackett, Green Bay Packers offensive coordinator. Obviously, if you can't beat them, take one of them away. He's overseen Aaron Rodgers since 2019, obviously. And and just look at their offense. I know they have Aaron Rodgers, but it would be a pretty cool experiment to see what Hackett would be able to do with Justin Fields. And one of the reasons I really like Hackett uh, and what he's able to do with that Green Bay offense, I, and like I said, I know it's easy because he has one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But how he uses his running backs, how he uses A.J. Dillon, how he uses Aaron Jones, he loves to run the football, and that's something that Matt Nagy doesn't like to do. He doesn't like to run the football. And with the Chicago Bears having David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert, getting Tariq Cohen back, we have some very good running backs in the Chicago Bears offensive backfield. And I think Nathaniel Hackett would come to Chicago, right? And I think he would have some success because of our running backs, right? And obviously when you run the football and you have success at running the football, that would obviously help Justin Fields succeed. So th- this one is... Is just off the limb. Uh, I think Nathaniel Hackett would be be a pretty interesting hire for the Chicago Bears. I don't think it would be that sexy hire, uh, but it would be interesting if we interviewed him and then ended up hiring him and stealing him away from the Green Bay Packers. Candidate number four is Byron Leftwich, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive coordinator. And, and this has been a hot commodity for a lot of Bears fans. Leftwich, what he's been able to do with that Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense, obviously, once again, he's coaching Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all time. But he was able to design to sign an offense when Tom Brady came over and was a big part of a reason why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were so good on offense and led them on that Super Bowl run last season. And as the Bears develop fields, it wouldn't hurt having a guy that has worked with Tom Brady and can bring what he's learned from Tom Brady and bring it over to Chicago and give that information to Justin Fields. So, like I said, I know Byron Leftwich has been a hot commodity for a lot of Bears fans. I would be okay with Leftwich being the next Chicago Bears head coach. So, you never know what's going to happen, but I know Leftwich would be a very good hire, and I, and I think what he's been able to do with that Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense, I think he would have the same success with Justin Fields over here in Chicago. Coaching candidate number five for me, and this is a guy that every year he comes up <laughs> as a head coaching uh, candidate, and that is Josh McDaniels, uh, the New England Patriots offensive coordinator. Obviously, there's been a lot of rumors saying that he's just staying put because once Bill Belichick leaves, he will take over as the Patriots head coach. The one thing I can say about Josh McDaniels is look what he's been able to do with developing Mac Jones. And Mac Jones is probably going to be the rookie of the year. So when you look at that, it's like, okay, if he can do it with Mac Jones, just imagine what he would be able to do with Justin Fields and his athletic ability. And that's nothing against Mac Jones. But I think Josh McDaniels and his success over the years as an offensive coordinator, and once again, he's coached Tom Brady, the greatest quarterback of all, all time. So that kind of goes along with what I said about Byron Leftwich. He can take what he's learned from Tom Brady, right, and use use that and bring it over to Chicago and teach Justin Fields how to be a superstar quarterback in the NFL. And, and I think if he's able to do it with Mac Jones, I think he can easily do it with Justin Fields. So, and once again, I love how Josh McDaniels and his offense utilizes his running backs. I think that's also going to be a big thing. This next offensive coordinator has to utilize our running backs because we have a lot of them. 
So I think if the next offensive coordinator or next head coach that is an offensive guy, if it's an offensive guy, is able to utilize our running backs, that is going to help Justin Fields succeed and help Justin Fields get to that super superstar potential that we know he can get to. The sixth and final head coaching candidate that I have on my list, and I had to throw in a defensive guy if the Bears decided to go that route, is Todd Bowles, Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense coordinator. And I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Well, he had a chance with the Jets, 2015 to 2018, right? It went terrible, but let's be honest, Bears fans. Who's able to actually make the New York Jets a winning football team? It's been really, really hard for anybody to go in there and make the Jets good. And I know the second thing you guys are wondering is, well, Keek, we need an offensive-minded guy for Justin Fields. And and I totally agree. I'm just throwing this out on the whim because if the Bears do opt to go for a defensive guy, Todd Bowles, for me, I would be comfortable with that hire. Ever since he got fired from the New York Jets, he went to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and has made the Buccaneers defense one of the most dominant defenses in the NFL, and had his fingerprints all over that Super Bowl win. Just think about it. He was able to shut down Patrick Mahomes and that high-power Kansas City offense. That was pretty pretty cool. So when you look at the Chicago Bears defense, if you do go defense, you still have Khalil Mack, you still have Robert Quinn, right? You still have Blonde Nichols, Jalen Johnson. There's still some pieces there for him to work with. Obviously, if we do decide to go for a defensive head coach obviously Todd Bowles it would be up to him to bring in a good offensive coordinator that can get Justin Fields to the next level like I said I'm not really a big fan of getting a defensive guy because at at the end of the day Justin Fields is our future and I think we need to get an offensive minded head coach but if the Bears did opt to go for a defensive guy I think Todd Bowles would be the right move so those are the six head coaching candidates I can see replacing Matt Nagy. I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, where's Kellen Moore? Where's Brian DeBall? Both of those guys would also be fascinating options. I just wanted to make a list of six. But don't get me wrong. I think DeBall and Moore could also be in the running to replace Matt Nagy as the next Chicago Bears head coach. So like always, comment down below in the comment section and let me know who would you like to see be the next Chicago Bears head coach and let's have a conversation about it. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode on Kika on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for all new Bears podcast right here on Kika on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe because I be on the